Deputy Fitzpatrick. Minister, uh, GPs, pharmacists, uh, midwives, nurses, all, medi all medical uh, professions are constantly committed to both patients and will remain so regardless of our sanctions. Uh, no, nobody should be forced to end life. And Minister, I don't think you'll do that as well. I think, I think Minister, I think you, you should be fair. You should have a look at the situation the moment is. Like, these people are not, are not just looking for headlines. These people, have, 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 you know, these people are conscious. These people, especially doctors and nurses, they paid for their education. They trained, put a big effort in. And what they, what they were trained to do was they were trained to save lives, not to end lives. And nobody, and I mean nobody, should be forced to end life. Uh, I just said, I just said myself there at the moment. I'm a very lucky individual that I have a family which is pretty healthy there at the moment. Is and like, I just, I just I, like, I would not like if, if my son or my daughter went away and trained to be a doctor or a nurse or a midwife, and like, and like, like they've been trained and they've been, they've been professionally trained. Sorry, it's a problem here, no, no. No, I'm not trying to be smart, uh, 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 Ken Collar. I'm just trying to have a bit of a speech here, and it's not nice for someone on my right hand side, especially the minister. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be smart at the moment, so I showed you. I, I showed no, you great respect. No, without interruption, I showed you, I showed you great respect. I'm down. here all evening. I showed you great respect, and I, I listened to everything please. you said. Please but I'm just trying to say is nobody should be forced to end a life. Thank you.